I'm gonna show you how to build a six-figure Shopify store from scratch. Now for beginners, if you have a bad website, you're losing out on potentially thousands, even millions of dollars if you get to that scale. The thing is, nobody trusts a bad website. I mean, just think about some of the brands and people that you shop from. Their own websites are probably clean. And I know it's confusing for a lot of you guys on how to build a Shopify website, and that's why I'm here to save the day. I'm gonna show you how I built the website that converted into multiple six figures for me, and how you can make it yourself. Before we begin, I need to go ahead and let you guys know a certain term. And that term is CVR, AKA conversion rate. This is basically just the percentage of people that come to your website and actually buy something. You need to keep this term in mind when making your store because this is your whole entire goal. You wanna build a website around CVR that can be very high. And I have paid people hundreds of dollars to just review my website and tell me the best CVR tips. These are people that are pros and have been doing this for decades. And today I compiled all those tips. I'm gonna give you guys half of them today. The other half will be in my Discord. Now let's go ahead and begin building this website. The first thing you wanna do is go on themes.shopify.com and you wanna go ahead and click explore themes and look for a theme that fits you. Now, a lot of these themes are paid and a lot of the good ones are paid, but you can get some pretty good ones for free. So we just click on the free one and find a theme that we're gonna use. Honestly, I like refresh the most out of all of these because I use this theme myself personally and it helped me get my first six figures and it's free so let's go ahead and select refresh once you have the theme installed you can go ahead and customize it and open it up but first before we do that we need to go over some important settings first we need to go to the policy setting right here on the bottom this is very important that you have these policies in place especially shipping policies because if customers asking where's the stuff at you can tell them hey the shipping policy is right here and it tells you how long stuff can take or etc refund policy whatever and with Shopify they have these templates you guys can click you just click on template right here it'll be template for you guys and it'll make a whole entire template now for the shipping policy and stuff what i did was i went on chat gpt and told it to make me a shipping policy it's that easy with ai now you can do so much the next thing we need to do is create a domain so basically what a domain name is is the name of your website i want to talk to you guys about an e-commerce specific domain from the sponsor of our video dot store domain now you may be asking what even is a dot store domain dot store domains is meant especially for e-commerce and all your online store needs like the domain it is it's dot store which means it's for selling a dot store domain instantly tells your viewers that your website is a store and it associates it automatically with selling like that's literally your marketing done right there for you more than 1 million users use dot store domain and that includes some of the top celebrities like rihanna cristiano ronaldo maroon 5 brands like discord fabric castell and even emirates airline which i just took a flight from and last but not least the influencers like dude perfect zach king and Mark Rober and there's way more people I honestly like dot store domain more than any other domain there is because when people see dot store in your web URL they automatically think your store is for selling and that's what you need for a Shopify store and the good thing is because this is up and coming you can secure the name you want there's a lot more available names so I'd recommend you hurry up and go secure your dot store domain name before somebody else takes it and you can get it discounted for only 99 cents when you use code Yadster store at www.get.store and you guys are literally getting a deal right now because it retails for $30 usually, but with my code, you're getting it for 99 cents. So you're not really wasting any money. I know all of you guys have a dollar. All you need to do is go to www.get.store, type in the domain you want, just add it to cart, and then add my coupon code for that 99 cent discount for the first year. And you can also get it from any register like GoDaddy, Squarespace, Shopify, Namecheap, and etc. if that's what you're more comfortable with. You can also find the link of the discounted domain in the top of my description down below. Once again, thank you to Dot Store for sponsoring this video and now let's get back into building a website now that you have an awesome domain now that we're back on building the store let's go ahead and get some of the basics out the way now one of the first things i like to do is go ahead and go on the header up here and fix the logo so let's go ahead and upload our logo for our brand okay i'm gonna go ahead and upload this logo right here and if you guys know this is my second brand the next thing we want to do is go ahead and play with the colors to our branding so you'll just go over here to theme settings scroll down to colors and just pick the color theme that you want for me i'm going to personally keep this blue theme and i'm going to tell you guys why it's not because i'm lazy so this is one of the tips that i received from one of my experts is that blue green and orange are one of the best converting colors why because these colors are easy on the eye and they make the customer feel calm and i'm telling you when it comes to websites stuff like this matters if you want to convert so when you're picking your color theme you want it to be easy and calm like this right here automatically comes with a great color scheme and i think shopify did this on purpose because this is a great converting color i'm telling you bro it's all human psychology when it comes to converting the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this right side now that we clicked on this announcement bar and we're gonna put something like free shipping plus sale 
ends midnight now what this does it creates a sense of urgency that they need to go ahead and get this before midnight hits so this is what you're going to do for your announcement bar you can do other stuff too like discounts promo sale holiday sales it could be whatever you want i'm just showing you guys what i did the next thing i like to do is go ahead and put this at the middle left after that we're going to scroll down right here to something i like to call the hero shot now this is very important. This is the first thing customers are gonna see when they open your website. So you want this main image to be something really nice. So typically you would want this to be a nice clean image of your product, whether that's clothes or you're doing some type of drop shipping, you want a nice high quality image of your product. Now I think I'm gonna go with this one because I don't have that many high quality pictures for this product yet because I'm still working on this business, but you get the point. And we'll go ahead and change this text to something like shop our latest collection or for anybody else you'd be like shop our latest product or just something along those lines to get them to click this is what you call a call to action you need to try to call them basically to commit an action you can make the button label just shop now this is one of my favorite call to actions and so far this looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie now you guys are probably wondering why does it say skinny jeans and all that i will go over in a second how to get this this is called your navigation the next thing for the home page is your feature collection now this is great if you have multiple products for the simple fact that 80 percent of people do not go anywhere past but the home page so you want to already have your products on the home page this is super important because like i said 80 percent of people are not going to click through your website so you want to try to sell them right away so one of my favorite sayings right here in this heading is just to put new arrivals or just something along best sellers or something like that and have my product right here after this i like to have some rich text so people know what the business is about now for me i like to do a little our mission or whatever our brand is about our business and i just go on chat gpt and ask it to write me something and as you guys see chat gpt is literally typing up something amazing right now that we can use we're gonna use a small section because we do not need all this people are probably not gonna read the whole thing if it's that long so we're gonna use this something short and sweet and gets people to want to click with this button we're gonna go ahead and click products and we're just gonna pick a product that it can go to and we're gonna do another call to action this one is gonna be shop now again so let's go ahead and save this just so we don't lose anything now with the home page you could keep adding sections like a testimonial section or a view section but this theme right here does not have that so I can't really do that but basically Basically, the layout of your store needs to try to convince your potential customer to go ahead and buy. And another thing is if you guys have more products, whatever you're selling, it's going to look better for your store. You'll have more stuff to showcase. But for me right now, I only have one product, so there's not much that I can showcase and do. So we're going to go ahead and click save and I'm going to show you guys how to build this navigation right here. So what you want to do is go to online store right here in sales channels and then go to navigation. After that, it's going to be right here. You'll just go to header and you'll go ahead and edit whatever's there. So for me, I have skinny jeans and it'll show you all products or the skinny jeans collection it will be you have the home page that will show you the home page and we have the contact that sends you to the contact page and you could keep adding menu items or just edit the ones shopify already give you like catalog and stuff like that so i'll probably change this one to shop all so you can shop all since we're doing all products and we'll save this menu and go ahead and go back and you want to go ahead and do your footer this is where you're going to put all your policies so right here you'll just add a menu item and then you'll type in whatever policy it is and then just put the link to the policy easy like that and it'll be on your website ready to go now let's go ahead and work on the product page now right here i recommend you hide that because nobody just wants to see the word products they just want to see the actual product itself so we're going to go ahead and click on the product i'm guessing a lot of you guys have already made products and this is how i lay my product pages out your product description should be something that just describes whatever your product is in a nice uplifting way something that gets all the juicy stuff out basically like for this we're selling reflective jeans so we describe about how the reflective material enhances visibility and low light conditions and the different stuff about the jeans and another thing you could do is just throw this in chat gpt that's exactly what i did i asked chat gpt make me a product description for my jeans and it gave me that so we gotta love chat gpt the next thing about your product page is you want high quality images now i'd recommend if you're doing a clothing brand or something of your own you get an actual photographer to take these pictures for you because this is super important if you guys have trash images people are going to think your stuff is trash now i know with drop shipping a lot of the times the product itself has images on like cj drop shipping and stuff like that so that's good but for people starting their own product based stuff you need to make sure you take high quality pictures and take this part very serious because this is one of the biggest things when it comes to boosting your conversion rate you guys see we have our sizes our quantities everything is right here and most of the time shopify will give you this stuff by default you don't really need to change too much of this and it works perfectly fine i know a lot of this stuff can look confusing on shopify but just trust me you just take a deep breath and just look at it one step at a time and it'll become so easy like you guys saw we made the home page that easy just by taking it one step at 
ahead of time and looking at the different features. Same thing goes with your product page and everything. Now the last page we have is the contact page. Shopify already makes this by default. I wouldn't change this. I wouldn't do anything to it because this is actually already set up. I'm going to show you guys the store that got me to over six figures while using this refresh theme that I was showing you guys. And here it is. It's for my brand Watch Your Step if you guys don't know. And basically this is what I did. So we have up here as a hero shot right here. It shows products and it shows new arrivals where you guys can shop. You guys can make the button on this right hand side where everything is. It's all customizable. Like I could change this button name to like new or whatever I want to change it to. Right below that, like I had the new arrivals. This is where I had the multiple product sections. Below that, we had the hour promise to build that credibility up that show people that this is what we're promising. And right below that, we had our best sellers. And then we just have a little quote at the bottom with the email. That simple. You don't have to do that much for the home page. That's literally my whole entire home page. Just three things. Because I have more products, it looks like a lot more. Now, if we click on the product itself, it's the same thing clean description clean images to showcase the product and we have all the descriptions right here with like the materials the sizing and everything right there and this comes automatically with your shopify theme i'm pretty sure if not it's called collapsible content you just go ahead and add that section so for those of you wondering how to add a section i didn't go over it so let me just go over it really quickly how to add a section so you go to this bottom left section right here click add section and there's a bunch of stuff that you guys can pick from to add. Now, like I said, the main stuff will be at the top because that's the most important stuff Shopify already knows. And you just click it. Let's say we wanna add rich text. We'll add rich text, we click it, go to the bottom and we'll have the rich text right here. And you could drag this up and around to wherever you want it to be. It's super easy. So I'll put it right here, for example, where the our promise would be. I will add everything I want. Let's say I don't want this button label remove everything is very customizable in shopify which is what i like now another important thing when it comes to converting people for your website is having a sticky header so basically what a sticky header is, is when someone's scrolling on your site the header doesn't go away and this is very important for conversions because if someone's scrolling down or whatever and they just forget that you have your header and stuff they're not going to know where to go shop and go find different items so if you constantly have that reminder telling them hey this is where you can shop all that stuff then it will be easier for them to go ahead and find that so make sure your header is sticky you're just going to click on enable sticky header right here after you click on this header button and basically that's how you build your own high converting shopify store it's super simple you don't have to do the most that store right there brought my business to over six figures so i hope you guys learned from stuff from me and learned out a really good layout that you can use that's mainly the whole point of this video to show you guys a really good layout that you guys can have for your shopify store make sure to subscribe and follow my socials for more and also check out my discord down below that's where we're giving out all the really good information i'll be back with another upload in a few days i love you all and i'll see you guys then